So now the disciple is asking, what is the nature of the mind? And the Raman Maharshi says, the mind is this wondrous power residing in the self which causes all the thoughts to arise. Therefore, thought is the nature of the mind. Fairly straightforward answer. Thought is the nature of the mind. In fact, without thought, there is no independent entity called mind. Thought is mind. Yeah. And by thought, what we mean is this internal dialogue that we consistently have. There's something that, you know, within ourselves, something inside ourselves, keep talking, right? There is some internal voice that continues, continues. Also, there are some internal images, but fundamentally this internal uh, sound, internal voice, internal dialogue, that is what we call thought, right? So this thought is basically is the mind. That is the nature of the mind. And the Raman Mahashi then points out very interestingly, he says, the foundation of all these thought, the core of all this thought is this I thought, right? So what he's saying is basically what we call I is a fundamentally a thought. It's a mind. What we call I is actually the mind. And he says that is the first thought comes, I. On top of that other thoughts arises, right? Only when the first pronoun is there, there will be another second or third pronoun. But the most fundamental thought is I thought. Yeah. So when the I thought arises, then it, there will be other thoughts. I like to create video. First of all, there has to be I, right? I and then on top of it, I like to create videos, right? So this is like Raman Vaishya is saying, this I is always the foundational thought. Without I, there will not be other thoughts. And he wants to work on I. He wants us to work on this I. And our goal here is to quiet the mind down, right? So when we quiet the mind down, we know things for ourselves. So our goal is fundamentally here is to quiet the mind down. And the method that Raman Maharshi is suggesting is the inquiry of this I, which is a thought. And the way he suggests this inquiry, he says, you should constantly ask yourself, who am I? And this thought of who am I? Who am I is another thought, right? This who am I is not for, at least in this context, is not for searching who exactly you are. It is to work on this ignorant identity of I within the thought, right? So when the thought comes like, I create the video, Raman Maharshi wants, to, uh, wants us to practice to ask, who am I? Who am I? Right? Who is this I who wants to create the video? Right? And this thought, this is like another thought. Who am I is another thought, right? This thought will destroy all the other thought. In, in the end, it will also be destroyed just like, you know, uh, you are using a stick to stir a hot water. So after some time, the stick also gets dissolved, right? Very interesting. So he says, fundamentally what he is saying, foundation of all the thought is this I thought, which is a thought, right? And to counter that I thought, we should ask who am I and this who am I thought can potentially remove this I thought altogether. And once the I thought removes, we remove the foundation. So there is no building on top. We don't have to worry on, you know, uh, branches and the leaves if we cut down the root itself. Right. So that's what the method that Raman Maharshi is suggesting to ask who am I. And this who am I thought can potentially destroy the most fundamental thought of I. And the way again he describes a little bit more that when a thought arises, instead of pursuing that thought, yeah, I would like to uh, go and <coughs> travel to some other place, right? So instead of following that, I mean, in externally we do whatever we do, but here in the context of quieting the mind down, instead of following that thought, instead of pursuing that thought, what Raman Maharshi is suggesting is one should ask to whom this thought is arising. Right, and the answer will be to me. And the next question should be, who am I? And the mind goes back to its source, right? Mind doesn't have any answer for that. So mind goes back to its source. And, one, and when we persistently and consistently ask this question over and over again, right? When we diligently practice this, eventually mind is stopped leaving the source. And that's how the mind permanently quiet down into the self, right? Very interesting... Uh, way of describing this whole path of inquiry that fundamentally the thought is the mind that we want to work on and this is like current, our current situation is there's just infinite amount of thoughts inside ourselves without any kind of rhythm or rhyme and what Raman Maharshi is saying among all these thoughts the most fundamental thought is I only after the I thought arises other thoughts are arising 
and instead of pursuing those thoughts one should ask oneself to whom these thoughts are arising and the answer will be to to me and then one should ask who am i and the mind goes back to its source right and again and again if we practice we cut down the most fundamental cause of all the thoughts which is this i which is a thought not the reality and once that once we work through that what is left is reality 